This is the beginning of the capsule filling process. This is the rectification process of filling the capsule filling ring. This is a size double O ring. It's a two piece ring which holds the capsule's bodies and caps. I'm going to go ahead and place the ring into the rectification station. You bring it in at an angle and turn against the drive pin clockwise. Down here you'll press the green button for rectifier start. The empty capsules before you start this process are put into the hopper. From here they are going through the rectifier orientated, body down, caps up. Underneath the ring there is a vacuum which is separating the body from the cap within the ring. And now we have a size double O ring filled with empty capsules. And this is the rectification. Now we're ready for our next step which should be the over-encapsulation stage of this process. You will take the rectified capsules out of the rectifier. You will take the caps off the bodies on the two-piece ring. You will set the caps on the easel. You will bring the bodies over to the over-encapsulation area. insertion ring. It has a shutter and a trigger. We use this hopper and recovery pan to do a flood fill process. The product that is going to be inserted into the double zero capsule. This is the flood fill. portion 
of the over encapsulation. Now we've completed our liquid backfill with the double zero capsule, with the size four capsule inside it. The next step in this process is to close the capsule. We'll take the body ring off of the turntable. Now we'll grab the cap ring off of the easel. We'll line up the cap ring to the body ring with the pins underneath. We will set the two-piece ring onto the peg ring of the closing station. Turn the wing nut onto the ring. Slide in the drawer. It catches a sensor, which brings up the pins pneumatically and joins the caps to the bodies. Then you turn the ring over. And we have our finished product, which has a size or capsule with a liquid backfill. It is finished double zero 